Hello and welcome to this vMix Call demonstration video. vMix Call allows you to easily add multiple remote guests into your production with high quality video and audio. All your guests need is a webcam and the latest Google Chrome or Firefox browser to connect to your live show from anywhere in the world. For one guest, you'll need the vMix HD edition. For two guests, the 4K edition. And finally, for up to eight remote guests, you'll need the Pro edition of the vMix software. So let's jump into a demo of how easy it is to add a remote guest. Simply click Add Input and select the new Video Call option in the left-hand menu. The two options here are to host a call and connect to a call. Host a call is when you are running the show and you want to add a remote guest. This remote guest can connect using a web browser and a webcam. Alternatively, if somebody else is hosting a show on vMix and you want to connect to them, you can select Connect to Call. This feature allows you to connect from vMix to another copy of vMix on the other side of the world. Next, we have the password box, which contains an automatically generated number to provide to your guest. They simply need to take this password and go to www.vmixcall.com to connect to your show. You can also customize down here what your guest sees when they connect by adjusting the return feed settings. The video source defaults to whatever you currently have on the output in your live show. That is whatever is currently being recorded or streamed. But you can also select external too if you have vmix 4K or higher. And this can be customized to show anything from, say, your preview window to the full multi-view output. Video bandwidth allows you to control the bandwidth you're sending to your guests. So if they have a limited internet connection, you can select this as low as 300 kilobits per second. And finally, the audio source allows you to select the audio mix that you're going to send them. Now, regardless of what option is selected here, Mix Minus is handled automatically. So if you select Master, your guest will hear all the audio in your mix except for them. So they won't hear an annoying echo. Now, once you've configured everything here, you can simply click OK to add this input to vMix. Now we're going to jump to our laptop and connect to this call. So I have my laptop set up here and I can connect to www.vmixcall.com and I can type in any name I like and then I can type in that password. So it's 586-856-5181. Now this password will be unique each time you add the video call uh, input to vMix. So each of your guests will have their own unique password they'll need to use to connect to the call. So simply click join call. And I can see the webcam is showing my own webcam of the laptop up in the corner. And within a couple of seconds, it has connected to vMix. And I can see the return video feed in the middle of what's happening within vMix. Now, there's a couple of options here you can configure. Now, th in the toolbar, you have the option to end the call to mute the camera or microphone, to turn on or off the preview, to maximize it full screen, and to turn on or off the chat. So vMix Call has a built-in chat, so I can say hello uh, to the vMix producer. And now if I jump right back into v my vMix production, you can see here that the webcam of my laptop is coming through clearly here as a video source in vMix with just as if it were a camera in vMix. It has full audio control. I can mute and unmute it and customize it from within the audio mixer within vMix. Now I can right click this or any of these inputs and go to Open Call Manager. And you can see already I have the chat. Uh, I said hello and the hello has come through. So I can say hi back and it will show up in the chat on the laptop. And I've got some statistics here, you know, what resolution they're sending. So the laptop's sending at 720p at around 2,000 kilobits per second at 30 frames a second. And you see the audio quality as well. And you can also click the statistics button up the top to get a full in-depth overview of the statistics 
uh, such as packet loss and so on, if you're diagnosing some internet uh, issues. But that's the vMix call manager. All the different callers will show up here along the screen, all the way up to the maximum of eight available in vMix Pro. And you can drag and drop this onto a second monitor. And you can use the chat to communicate with all of your guests at the same time. So you could say to them, hey, 10 seconds to show time. And they'll all uh, prepare themselves for that. Um, so, there's, as I said before, the passwords of each guest are independent. So each time you go to add input and you add video call, it'll create a brand new password for that. Now you might want to reuse a password for multiple shows. So you can say to your regular guest, this is the, the same password they can use each time. Now all you need to do is save this as a preset. So I can see here I've got the password listed up the top of the chat window. And if I save the preset, it will reuse that password each time. Now, if I want to change the password, uh, all I have to do is click the cog icon, click change, and it will generate a, a new password here. And I can change the settings and click OK, and that will update the input with the new password. NDI is also supported with vMix Call. So all you have to do is go into the settings of vMix, and then select the external output tab and tick the box here labeled cameras slash calls slash audio inputs. Now what that will do is that will enable any remote guest you have in your live show as an NDI source on your local network. So that's really handy if you're using a separate production switcher from vMix. You can add multiple remote guests and you can select those as camera sources from any production system that supports NDI or any NDI software that supports receiving NDI sources. The only thing to keep in mind when using uh, vMix Core with an external switcher is you'll need to set up uh, the mix minuses for each of your guests independently from vMix. The vMix mix automatic mix minus uh, feature excludes their microphone from the output but it can't do that if you're using a separate audio mixer or a separate production switcher. So just keep that in mind. Though vMix has built into it an extra two audio buses, A and B, so you can customize your mix minuses that way if needed. For additional help and information, you can visit the support page on our website where you can find up-to-date documentation and information on how to contact us via email. We also have a free 60-day trial, which is the equivalent of vMix Pro. So this will allow you to test vMix Call with up to eight remote guests for 60 days in a fully functional, non-limited trial. And that's available by visiting www.vmix.com. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix tutorial.